Uh, we can't hear anything. Now, Young Sarema has once again ascended on the Billboard Top 100 charts. Now, from last week's spot at number 28 on the global charts, the Maven and Jones in World artist has climbed up to a new peak spot at number 26. Now, this is, of course, with his mega hit song, Calm Down. Now, the song's remix with Selena Gomez has come a long way since it first debuted at number 91 on the Billboard Top 100. Now, it has spent a total of 22 weeks on a globally recognized song ranking platform, which is a big feat for an Afrobeats record. Now, recall that a 22-year-old musician became the fifth Nigerian superstar to get a platinum certification in the U.S. with the same song, Calm Down, and even continued to do bigger on YouTube. The official video still holds a spot as the most viewed Afrobeats visuals on YouTube, now at 365 million views for the original and 278 million views on the remix. Now, Calm Down holds a higher spot on the weekly revised charts than some of the biggest global hits right now. I mean, I'm talking higher than Grammy winning track Wait For You, which is of course by Future Drake and Thames, uh, over I Like You, Post Malone and Dojo Cat, in fact, even Nikki's Super Freaky Girl and um, award winning uh, Lizzo's about damn time now this is just a few of the songs all right i'm looking forward to seeing it do better and uh you know if it does do better I i'll let you know hopefully it crosses into the top 10 like essence did now let's move to the gold coast where mixed reactions have followed a recent video teaser posted by ghanaian rapper sakodie now the video post with the caption yen fa duen meaning forget about it uh featured ghanaian musician black sheriff now, some quickly pointed out the importance of the collaboration between the two artists, being that Sakodie is a veteran artist with over five albums, and Black Sheriff only just began his career. Now, the two collaborated on the song titled Countryside of Sakodie's last album, Jams, that dropped on the 11th of November last year. While some predict that it's a teaser for the soon-to-be-released official video to Countryside, it's unclear because the audio to that teaser was a song with Nigerian musician Benson instead. Now, one user, of course, uh, took the comment on this post and said, the present and the future. Another, of course, referring to both stars and, and, and what they're doing. Another one said, you won't use the boy for your brand. Black O is way too down to earth, 19%. A black O for no say sack never did anything for the oldies. <laughs> and he says, um, to be relevant artists now in the industry, right? He says, uh, forget about Tito. You, they use you. That's what he's trying to say, that Sakodi is probably using black O. And we must admit, Black O has gained international recognition, of course, whether it's for Kweku or for DJ Khaled posting his, his song, calling it one of the best songs he's heard. Now, Black O definitely, or should I say Black Sheriff, is doing good for himself. Now, what has many people also talking about with that video is the choice of Black O's trousers. Now, we Nigerians are used to it because we've seen Ashaqeb put on oversized pants. Uh, but I guess people were surprised in Ghana to see Black Sheriff put that on. But the, the good news, of course, is uh, an official music video with Black Sheriff would make it the third track on the album, Jams, to get visuals. Now, recall that Jams housed some of the continent's finest stars on that album, from Nigeria's Oxlade to young star Joe Boy, of course. Uh, there was also Lo J of that, on that project. And let's not forget Ghana's King Promise to even Jamaican star Cranium, amongst others. Now, whatever you, if you, however you want to put it, honestly, there's nothing that Sakodi will put out that will not be a hit. Plus, he's already a veteran musician uh, in Ghana, and we appreciate that. All right, but let's move to this one. Uh, and our final story, a number of surprise celebrity guests and film executives were present yesterday during a special gathering at the premium screen and signature lounge of IMAX Cinema's Lecky. Now, the event saw the cream de la cream of the Nollywood movie industry have a good time together while discussing what is new for the year 2023. Now, one of the highlights of the gathering was the surprise presence of Nollywood veteran Hanks Anuku, who was known for playing the role of a villain in some of the biggest movies, I'm talking The Crusader, Desperados, The Girl Is Mine, Final Game, and many others. Now, recently, videos emerged online that showed the Nollywood veteran in a poor state in the East and captured by an online comedian. There was a debate about whether he was in a good state of mind or in a troubled condition. Now, Filmhouse Cinemas, the venue where the actors uh, gathered, saw the, nine, six, uh, the six foot uh, art actor join in the conversation. Now, let's watch that video before we go any further with this. Let's watch this. A team is teamwork and teamwork is a team. So without you people supporting me spiritually or otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get this far at all. Since I'm back here again after a long while, 
for better days ahead, man. I really appreciate and love you guys Amen. for being there for me, Amen. man. When I saw you come in through the door, I was like, I says, look over there. And she was like, what's that? And when she saw you, she was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It is just a privilege to be sitting here with you. Because I actually watched you growing up. And wow. um, yeah, and thank you. Thank you for this. And there are better days ahead. Oh, sure. Um, you got life, you got hope. And personally, I would love to see you come back on set. Um, you are a phenomenal actor. You are a great actor. Thank you. And I would love for you to come back. You know, just show your talent. You got it. Yeah. You're still one of the best. Well, that's a beautiful one. Oh, and, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it without you people being there once again. That we could all do it all together this time, maybe even better than yesterday. Of course. All right. <laughs> I love you guys, but that's all I can Thank say. You. I'm so humbled to really be here <laughs> amongst you. you beautiful people, and uh, God bless you. Like that no, I got no I Bro, I want yeah. to give you something, man. What's that? Come, I bet you need some of this cash. Yeah. No, you see me now, I bet. Okay. Yeah. I beg, I beg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Master Nogo, you made my childhood, and What's I can't see you. My name is Nash Boy. You made my childhood, man. You made me happy when Where I was you young. From? I'm, I'm actually from the West. I'm from the West. Oh, I'm from your family. Now, a lot of Nigerians can relate to that video when that man said he made a part of our childhood, of course, because we watched him growing up. But Hank Sanuku, who has gotten back to Nollywood fold, spoke a little about what the old and new Nollywood have achieved in recent times while speaking about his hiatus uh, from the TV screen. All right. And of course, as we saw earlier, he was talking, having this conversation with uh, two actresses, both Adunia Ade and, of course, um, Osaza Gadaro. Now, we're glad to see that Hanks is back and doing well uh, over the belief that he was not so great uh, mentally. All right. I'm not sure if there's any more videos to play, but uh, it's definitely incredible for as a young person like I am, honestly. I should say Gen Z. All right. But definitely, I, I saw him on the screen. And, uh, you know, I feel like the villains back in the day did, I don't know, a great job. <laughs> Whether it was him or G. Mike or a ton of other great people, um, we just I, I suddenly appreciated them, and it's just great to see that he's doing good. What are your thoughts about this, Olive? Also, uh, seeing him, and uh, what are your thoughts if he would come back and probably, you know, join uh, the new movie? Who knows? Maybe Shanty Town: The Return or something. What are your thoughts, guys? That'd be great. <laughs> I'm, I'm just very excited to see Hank Sanuku. Uh, like. Lots of us cannot deny the fact, the fact that he made our childhood. Yeah. When you thought of the bad boys of those days growing up, Hank Sanuku was one of those bad boys that had foreign accents right. in movies. Mm -hmm. And then him, the likes of uh, Hank Sanuku, Jim Ike. Uh, and then uh, it was also like, like we saw Chidi Mokeme very recently playing the role of Sky in Shantytown. Mm -hmm. It's just very great to see. I think this moment here is such a priceless moment. They sort of refer to them as old Nollywood and refer to... Uh, Osas and Adunia's new Nollywood. <laughs> Nollywood is Nollywood, right? Mm. But I'm very glad to see that we're not... There's, there's some form of an honor. We give honor to those who, who walked so that mm. the people today can run and those who ran so that the people today can fly. So yes, it's just really great to see Hanks and I look forward... I would love to see Hanks in the movie again. It, there's this thing of sort of honoring those who had gone ahead. It's mm. why they redid Aki and Popo because mm. those, those guys are legends. You That's know? right. So it, it's just great to see them. You know, I was going to ask Osa a question. Speaking about um, honoring these uh, actors, you know, how else can we do this? You know, I feel like overseas we have maybe like the Madame Toussaint Museum or different parts where these artists are honored, like the Hollywood Walk oh, of Fame, Hall of perhaps. Fame, the Walk of yes. Fame, you know. You know, so what do you guys think that we can do to actually honor these people even ahead of their, you know, past their time? Um, I don't think we've built our industry to get to that, you know, level yet where we can mm. have like a Walk of Fame. It's not like it's too much to ask for. Mm. Um, but I think generally we as people need to ensure that we, we appreciate them more, we honor them more mm. uh, before we start to, you know, make those, um, you know, do, do like a, a walk of fame or anything. Every now and then you hear of um, uh, Lifetime Achieve Achievement Awards, That's you right. know, at the Headies or something. You give it to, you know, I don't know, Olu Jacobs or, you know, in Kemba Law, things Lancet. like that. Yeah, so, so we do that every now and then, you know, which, which you know, kind of feels like it's, a, you know, on the surface. Um, but I think we as people need to, you know, sh express, you know, this honor that we're mm -hmm. talking about more. 
and and I like what one thing that you know Olive mentioned. You know that these people walked so that the um, Nollywood of today can can mm. fly. Mm. They of course would always always remain in our hearts and, our, and in our in our memories when we think of movies in Nigeria. Nice so said. good to see them, and you know hope that they stay alive for a long long time. And good, we hope to see them in more movies. Uh, thank Hopefully. you, Sam Dandy, for joining us this morning. Thank you morning. for having me. All right.